consulted a wasp on what to do and there was three recommendations that I saw. The first was we should only be letting the uh, confirmation link for forgot password last for 20 minutes. So we had it on there for 24 hours. For forgot password they recommended 20 minutes. The other thing is we should lock their account. And this means two things. And we should lock their account as soon as we send this email. They have like them answer some security questions, but for us, there's not really any great security questions we can ask them because we didn't collect any information. So I'm gonna just like skip over that part, um, and we're gonna lock their account. So locking their account means two things. We need to not let them log in, and we need to let them um, basically get them out of all their sessions. So we're gonna be working on this two bits right here uh, in this video. So first, let's convert it. You know, we can keep the comment. Why not? Um, let's first head over to our forgot password link. So let's make this 20 minutes instead of 24 hours. And then let's create on a new utils called lock account forgot password lock account. Because there's going to be multiple ways to lock an account. Um, and I want to differentiate these. So export const forgot password lock account. Um, not sure what things we need here, but the first thing I want to do is basically um, I need to have their user ID so I know which user to lock the account for. So that's going to be a string. And we want to create a new utility here called. Um, Law, I guess, um, remove user sessions.ts. So um, export const remove user sessions. And for this one, we can copy all the code we have and log out. So this bit right here. So given a user ID which is a string and a Redis instance. Uh, what I should be able to do and we can import both of these. What I should do is I should remove all the sessions uh, for that user. So remove, I guess we should rename this remove all users sessions. So rename this file, remove all users sessions. So then in logout, we'll just call, oops, remove all users sessions, passing in the user ID and Redis. Cool. So in our forgot password lock account, the first thing we're going to do, and I guess we should ask for um, Redis here as well. Redis. That way we could pass it in. Is uh, to log out, or not log out, but to do call that function. Remove all users' sessions. Um, passing in the user ID and Redis, so we'll wait. So I mentioned two things that locking the account would entail. First is removing all of their sessions. The second was making sure they could not log in. And I think it's actually better to make sure they can't log in first. So remove all sessions. Um, can't log in. And I was thinking about this. I was like, all right, we could store like a flag in Redis that says this user can't log in. But this, this really means they can't log in until um, they change their password, which could last who knows how long it could be forever. So in that case, I felt like it'd be better to store this in the database. So in that case, our user entity, I wanted to add a new column um, called forgot password locked. Um, and so by default, it is false. And basically, they cannot log in if they are locked by forgot password. So in this account over here, I'm going to say user dot update and the criteria 
is going to be um, ID where the user ID and then what we're updating is uh, forgot password and uh, locked is true now right now this doesn't do anything but we want to change that in our login function um, so they can't log in so this first bit is really just updating the database to say that user cannot log in anymore and then here we're removing all sessions so it's totally locking them out um, of their account and let's update our login resolver so we are checking confirmed whether they're confirmed or not but even before that um, we should check if their account is locked so if and oh man what happens if they try forgetting their password and they haven't even confirmed their account yet what should they even do I guess they should confirm um, their account before they forget their password so let's put it below that so if not so if user dot forgot password locked then we are going to return an error that says count is locked um, export const forgot password locked error and we'll just say account is locked Uh, and we, we want the error, so forgot, password, locked error. There we go. Okay, so we're going to call this function now. Um, yeah, this lock account function at, right before we send the email off to the user. So as soon as the user clicks forgot my password, we're going to lock down their account, send them an email, and uh, until they go ahead and click on that email link, and do those things, they are locked out of their account, they can't do anything. Um, I haven't tested this yet, but we're gonna be testing this along with forgot password all in one go. And that's what we're gonna do in the next video. So we have the logic for locking the account. So now we're just gonna put all these pieces together and uh, finish up forgot password, hopefully in the next video. It actually is quite uh, intensive, which I didn't realize. But that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching.